Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. Here with our down the drain map and a few things have happened. Mainly power. Lots upon lots of power. We have uh, these powers and these powers all connected to each other. So we've got 2840-ish power running through these at the moment, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Uh, and we are building the network all the way along. Um, it's doing well. It's doing well. Spinning over here as well, which is awesome. Uh, however, we've run out of logs, and we've run out of logs because all the trees have been dropped down, and that's going to be a problem. So um, we need to put in some trees. Um, so I'm going to do this and this. Now I'm going to switch you to be oak because I want to prioritize oak here, um, and I'm going to put in oak right over here in the corner. Oof. But I'm also going to put in some pine trees here so we can get a little bit of wood infusion going. Should probably move forester actually let's move the forester let's move the forester um forest can go in the center here and um i'm going to put another object there and, object there and then i'm going to go to here again and i'm going to go hey would you put in oak trees on this side here as well i don't think one forest is going to be enough to do that but we'll see how it goes i might leave this one in place for the moment here and I might just stop planting trees in the centre. Don't plant trees in the centre. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Don't put one off. Off. Awesome. Okay. So that'll get some trees going. It's gonna take a while because it takes forever to grow oak trees. They they take they take thirty days to grow. So yeah. Um, I have changed the ladders as well. Uh, the ladders now uh, is kind of a conforming thing. Uh, the ladders face towards the tunnel through rather than up against the wall. And that's because if I go up to the top, which is what I've done here, if I went up one further, they wouldn't be able to get onto this platform. So I need to turn it round. So I thought I'm going to just turn all of them round, all around to face that there. So that's there, that's there. We're going to have another one, we've got one here, we've got another one here in this corner here. So everywhere there's a a tunnel through, we're going to have ladders pushed up against them, as you can see there. Ladders pushed up against them, with the exception of over here by the houses, because obviously we're not going to do that here. What we are going to do, however, is move the ladders that are currently here. Now, I want to move them because we can't put large water tanks on top. We can't. We can put them on top, but if we do, we we can't put enough in. The only way I could do that is if I had, uh, I could put four in. If the ladders weren't here, so that was suggested in the previous comments that I move the ladders. And yeah, why not? Why not just move the ladders? So I'm going to remove that road there and we'll put a ladder in up against the wall like that. Remove this road here, put a ladder in the wall. Oh, one button up against that. Put them there you go. Which means we can then run a path all the way along there. And then that means we don't have to run a path all the way along here. And we can have the large wall tanks here. Once we get them, we're miles away from metal at the moment. We don't have metal. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll be okay for a minute. Uh, I can also get rid of these. Think that through. Oh, don't destroy that one. Um, make that a high priority as well. Uh, this is something else I've noticed, which is a little, a little weird. Um, that, that I don't get. Only happening there for that one. If I run along the outside here with the, with the herb tool, nothing gets highlighted above. But when I get to here, it does for some reason. This one. Is like leaning over. It, it's weird. I'm not quite sure why. Um, doesn't matter. Not important, but I just don't understand it. It's a little weird, weird thing. So, yeah. So that'll get some more trees going. That'd be awesome. We can get more trees planted here. That's fine. Uh, you've got loads of. We've got no gears as well. We also need some gears going. So I need to rebuild some more gear workshops. Uh, this layout here was never supposed to be permanent, so it's not going to be permanent. It's going to be moved, like over against the wall, mainly, so we can get power in from every evil angle. Um, I'd like the idea of storages being underneath it still. The problem to that is that if I want to put the bigger storages in, they're too high. They will block the uh, the power, but that's okay because we have universal power ones above it, which can connect anything anyway so we've got a connection here and a connection here 
so we don't have to worry about that anyway so if i put in a large storages or put in large storages up against this wall say here we can still put these buildings on top of them and they'll be fine it'll still work fine not that i think we need large storages for gears um yeah i don't think we need large storages for gears i just kind of have that uh medium way yeah we've got some medium warehouses in the east for the gear so all right all right we'll figure that one out um yeah figure out uh food wise um food is actually dropping food is dropping that is a that is a problem that is a problem food is, is lowering so we're gonna have to deal with that sooner rather than later and i might just do it by putting another food over here uh it was suggested in the previous comments as well that perhaps we could go and do the beehive thing and um, i could put beehives in here as well actually to speed these up might do that that might be a nice quick quick little fix uh yeah so let's um let's just put one beehive in here uh, there that one no hang on hang on it's three isn't it it's three yes it's three so crops cattle one two three that one there one two three that one there two three that one there and then three maybe that one there so we'll, we'll, we'll do that so that one the only problem to this is one, two, three. Um, it means that beavers are going to get stung. And because they get stung, they'll stop working. And that's going to cause a problem. But I think the, uh, the, the beehives will help. But um, the suggestion was that maybe we should put the beehives in still. Well, the, it was kind of a, a cross suggestion from one comment to another comment to another thing. Uh, I wanted to put the, the beehives in, but obviously we can't with the current system here. I could change the way these levees and things work and go there, but I don't want to. Um, I like the solid walls. They look very good. Um, these walls are a bit sort of higgly piggly with power coming that side, but they'll be hidden by powers. So we need it there. But um, I could put like two in. I could put like a couple of threes and a two to get the right spacing we want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick with the threes because I like the way it looks. I like the way this this. So we're going to stick with that. But internally, if we put the beehives in, so let me pause the game around here so it doesn't go. So I put a beehive in there, and then we put one next to it, there. That reaches to here. So we would have, along here, a path. And can you see? That exactly maps out the center piece that's bad flooring. So then we could fill that bad flooring with a storages, or a couple of storages, and farms. Those farms could take care of all the crops that ran outside. So you have farms in the center with storage, and then crops all the way around. And I like that idea because then you could have a cell completely dedicated to just food. I like that idea of just going food, food cell. Um, and, and maybe to start with, we'd have like one over here um, doing this and then one over here doing this. And, but I think once we get the metal going, we might look into getting, trying to get bots earlier rather than later. So. It also means that if we do get bots early, we don't have to worry about them being stung by bees. That's fine. Uh, and putting the food out the way means beavers shouldn't really go to it for whatever reason. So we could have like the uh, the food out here. Um, maybe this district will be just industrial in this one here. But like this one could become entertainment. And this one could become entertainment because it's going to be close to the power And entertainment uses a lot of power. And then these two could become industrial that makes sense and then and then all the the beavers can come over to to wherever they want to go to um to get things so i still don't know whether we're going to go with a single district or not um i might do i might just go with a single district i can't put it in the center here because this is even numbers um and that doesn't it wouldn't it wouldn't, will, wouldn't look right but there's no reason why it couldn't sit in a corner somewhere and yeah so we might go for that we might go for that because the center down here isn't a single tile it's four um if it was a single tile or it was a three by three then 
this would fit perfectly over it, but it won't. It will sit to one side. It will look bad. It will look bad. And I like things looking good. I want this to look good. One day. We, we are probably... I'm even going to have a look at some decorations, perhaps, um, later on. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so we've got this going on here. If we want to get out on top of this wall as well, um, I could put a little ledge in here to, to do it. We could use the... Uh, the decoration blocks like the, uh, the wooden pieces um, these ones here which are all like corner pieces and, and, and decoration cubes and other bits pieces these are overhangs so we can do an inverted slope which overhangs from things so we could always replace that with an overhang or well, it'd be one higher because the power but yeah um we have options we have many many options of things to do so what i'm going to do is I'm going to put the beehives in as and when they chop down the stuff. And then I'm going to remember, we don't have any paper to make the beehives. So we need to do paper as well, which basically means we need logs. So I think what we're going to do is leave the game running. Hope we don't run out of food and everyone dies. And get some of these logs built. Built, planted. That's the word I'm after. Not built. Actually, um... Uh, interesting that you chose to come down here and plant oak rather than plant any uh, stuff around you. I don't know why, but that's fine because I wanted the oak planted first anyway. But yeah, so let's come back when we've got some trees going, which is going to be in 30 days. So I will see you, uh, more than 30 days, um, in cycle 15, I guess. Okay, we're back and uh, for two reasons. One, the trees the pines don't take so long to grow as the oak so we'll be getting more wooden soon but they're not ready yet they're about halfway there uh more importantly food um we run out of food it's bad 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 so um the walls are complete however so that's a good thing it means we won't be using any more logs that are coming in so we have two which is excellent what i should have done was basically just come here and go hey do you know what let's plant more potatoes uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant more potatoes. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of the... Um, uh, the I, I put all these in. Um, and then remember, we don't have any paper. So it was pointless building them all. And then it's like, well, I'm taking away land that's actually for crop use. So I don't... Um, that, I did not think that one through. Did not think that one through. Uh, so I'm going to snap in that like that there. And uh, what I might do is I might grab some carrots over here in this little space here. There you go. So you're set to carrots, you're set to potatoes. So you can do a bit of potatoes, you can do the rest. You can do all those carrots, you can do all those carrots. So yeah, okay. And obviously they will get potatoes as well, should they need to when it happens. Uh, the big thing is that we, I've noticed we do have some raw potatoes. We do have um, like 77, or, I think they're just getting farmed right now. Um, these are normally out of potatoes, but it also might be they're out of logs. So that's kind of a thing as well. It might be because we didn't have any logs. They weren't making the food. So that's why the food dropped. So it's a mix. But having more planted won't hurt. Certainly won't hurt at all. So yeah. I'd rather have more food than not enough. Because uh, it was definitely dropping. Okay. So we let the trees continue to grow. And uh, this is... This is... Uh, yeah. Uh, where are we now? Where are we now? Uh, the wall has actually gone down. Which is interesting. So... Okay, um, I do believe, I'm not entirely sure on this, but I do believe every drought, when you come out of a drought and go to the next one, the water level, the water sources, I think there's some variance in them. I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure on that. I do know full well just by looking here. I've not used the dev tools to actually look at this here, but um, this one, maybe these two here, um, and this one, I think just this one and this one, um, are definitely stronger than every other one. There's one here that's stronger than the other ones. Um, one here. Every now and then as you go along, you'll find one that's stronger than the rest. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, or if they're all supposed to be a low level. But it does seem to be kind of like these ones are lined up with center, and there's one here, one. So I think it's not. I think that I think what the uh, the the mod maker, the math maker's done, is build this, get this all sorted and then kind of balance the water input by making some of them higher than others um, which makes sense which makes sense because you'd have to go around each and every water source to change the numbers on them if you wanted to even it out everywhere so if you just went do you know what these are all level one and like every now and then we do level two 
Um, that makes sense. It probably is done on purpose. So, but I think, as I said, I think that there can be a variance in them. Um, but I'm not sure on that. I, I, I it's something I, I feel like I've seen that water can be stronger on certain cycles and other ones. Never majorly, but a little bit. But I've got no evidence to back that up at all. It's just something. It, it might not be. It might just be that because you do things during a drought, that when the water comes back, it's a, um, it's it's a, plus, plus as well. Um, if this water was to dry out and then come back in again, obviously the water will come rushing down here, hit these, and it would backdraft up, and that can cause waves in the the water. So right now it's smooth and it's all flowing well, but it, it's all flowing well. But if it was to stop and restart it would hit this and back up and then it can cause waves which can make the water feel like it's different so maybe that's what i'm observing i don't know i don't know i'd have to do some experimentation with it um, and i haven't done a timber experimentation for a very very long time um so maybe we do one maybe we're doing a modded one to have a look how mods do things i don't know maybe not maybe we should wait for the next big update and then try it then that probably makes sense um uh, also, uh, I, I moved the foresters. I moved the forest over. Um, well, I, I built these two, got all the stuff planted, and then removed the forester here. So, um, yeah, okay. Trees. Wait for trees. Okay, so the trees, they are growing. The potatoes, they are growing. The food is slowly growing. Everything is awesome. So I think it's time to expand a little bit. Uh, I have changed one of the district the warehouses uh, down here to be potatoes, just so we've got storage, potato storage in here. Um, because I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna get an influx of potatoes that these aren't keep up with. And then as they're regrowing, we're gonna put through them. So yeah, yeah. all this good, all this good. I have changed these ladders back here, but we don't need to do that until we get the actual um, tanks so speaking of tanks let's get some metal shall we i think that's going to be a good idea let's try and drain this metal place out here yeah let's try that uh there is a little trick i can do here as well once um once this is empty is, is we we could change up a little bit here like put a um a, some blocks in here and remove one of these just to let the water drain out from it if we wanted to do that um maybe uh, so let's first and foremost come in here and let's get rid of all these roads and stuff in here that I've got randomly built that and let's put in a little bit of the road network so we're going to go this way this way and that way we're going to go further along and yeah wherever we need to go to but um, I'm probably going to have to run a path um, up here out here and then along the edge because I don't think we're going to reach where we want to reach to with what we currently have so okay okay let's remove all of those goodbye and let's put in our two by three down pieces so then we'll just go on the outside and it's all fine two three not in there four okay one two three Four, one, two, three, four, four. Like that. Okay. I mean, these little offshoots of road here, um, because otherwise we can't reach into the corners. So I'm going to have to run a road all the way along here, all the way down here, I think. It just connects the whole thing up as well, just, just for building wise. Okay, this is this is fine. This is fine building wise. Uh, so we want to remove um, all this if we can and make that a priority, please. Remove all that. Thank you. Oh, let's lower that down. Okay, go and do that. That's fine. And then we want to put in our tunnels as well. Get those done. Okay, let's put in that there. Right, okay. Uh, 
right, we need to build up this area, this side as well, with power and things to it. But we'll get the foundations placed first and then get the thing drained out. Because then we can get metal, um, which will make life a little bit easier. Um, so this might become the actual just industrial district, this this one here. So like all the machines and stuff, so all the, all the powers will be connected up to each other. They will run around the outside of all four of them, because if we want power in wherever we're going to, then it's nice to have the power. But uh, I think we might move like all this stuff over to here. This could become more of a bit of a log thing and stuff. So yeah, we want to get the metal going. And once we get the metal going, we want to get some uh, bots going. But to get bots, we're going to need more science. So let's have a quick look in our science here. Um, we need planks, gears, and pine resin wooden observatory requires power but that's not a problem we don't have enough science we need a thousand science no okay okay let's get in a couple of standard science in. so i just put them in the center for the moment i think uh yeah that'll be fine i'll put them in here and i'm gonna make them all the lowest work priority so uh people only come to them if they are Unemployed, which we have a couple of unemployed ones, so we get a bit of science coming in. Once we get the thousand science, we can unlock the observatory. We will need to unlock also um, the tapper check, so we need a thousand five hundred, um, and then we can get some pine, which we might have to figure out. I don't quite know how. I could I could always turn off dropping down the pine. I do remember to take these. I did do that, um, but yeah, might um, might turn off the pine and then get some pine resin just to build the observatory, plug it into the power. And even one beaver in the observatory is more efficient than, I think, three inventors. One beaver. And the observatory can have up to four beavers in it at once. So, yeah, 0.75 for 10 times. And this is one hour for one times. So, even if I drop that down to just one beaver rather than the four beavers, it would take, I think, four times as long. So that's... Seven and a half, that's three hours to make ten science. To make ten science in one hour, you need ten of these. So you need three and a bit. So yeah, it's about three. Three um three inventors, three or four inventors to one observatory with a single beaver in it. It's the equivalent of three or four. About three and a half, three point three three um inventors. So so yeah, the observatory, well worth it well worth it and you just set it to four beavers and set it to the lowest priority and uh, if you've got spare beavers they go and do science if you haven't they go somewhere else beautiful beautiful but we need to get the science first so we'll build that get that done um in fact what i should do is i should go here and i should lower the priority of all of these okay i want you to build them don't get me wrong but uh, i want you to build other things if i tell you to build other things first Let's also uh, do that. There you go. So build the other things first. Bit then we'll build build this outside area here, which will be fine. Um, you can't reach those. That's not a problem. Uh, and then we, I might look at just doing something here to um, let this drain quicker. Basically, just get rid of the water. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got to wait for it to actually be built first and change some things up. So. Um, it'd be something just along the lines of uh, off there and block off there, remove that one the water will flow out, no, no more water can flow into it, yes it's going to affect our water level it's going to make it go up, but it's only briefly and then we can just clear it and it'll go down so, so yeah yeah, maybe we'll try that maybe we'll try that, if I just remove one of these this water can flow in there so, um, yeah. although again, just removing one of these might actually cause the water to drop down to quite a low level anyway, yes the water can go in there but it's kind of it should also go down here so not a lot will go that way but maybe we'll test that maybe we'll build this here and then we'll just remove one block and find out what happens we can test it and figure it out so and then we can get some metal and we can start getting into more advanced things but it's taking its time because wood is becoming a bit of a problem still well not becoming is a bit of a problem still um blocks in that i should probably chop down these trees rather than got some of here mm. okay Okay, so let's uh, 
let's let this do its thing shall we well let it do its thing and uh, we shall come back next time and we will have the second area hopefully prepared for draining so yeah there where are you going why are you going up there and not down here Oh, because you need logs. Ah, these ones will need planks, of course. They're going through the planks because um, uh, they, they, they can do planks. Could we have loads of planks? So they're going to go fill them more up with planks and then they just need to be left with uh, logs. Um, which, is, uh, yeah, the logs should be used here. So, Okay, it's going to take a little while, but we will eventually get there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.